The summer is really sizzling in many parts of the U.S. with temperatures soaring to record levels. Doctors are warning that the dangers of hot weather are real and should be taken seriously. Jared Hill has more on how you can stay safe. In Arizona, it's been so hot, doctors say surfaces like playground equipment can be as hot as a frying pan and can cause severe burns. It's just every single day we get one or two patients that have some sort of degree of contact burns from either running in the hot asphalt or touching something very hot. Temperatures between 140 and 160, which would be uh, just a couple of seconds will cause deep injuries to, to a small hand. If you're planning to spend any amount of time outdoors in this extreme heat, hydration needs to start before you leave the house, according to Dr. Joe Lally with the Cleveland Clinic. Even if you don't necessarily plan on doing a lot of activity outside, it's important to kind of be aware of what you're going into. So making sure that you're hydrating throughout the course of the day so that your body would have the ability to adapt, making sure that we're drinking water, make sure that we're drinking electrolyte drinks to replace what we're losing in our sweat. Look out for the earliest signs of dehydration, like dizziness, lightheadedness, nausea, and headaches. The most dangerous type of heat-related illness is heat stroke. If a person doesn't get emergency treatment right away, this can be deadly. Their temperature will start to elevate, and they don't have the ability to lower their temperature. They often become confused, disoriented, they develop rapid heart rates, and they can drop their blood pressure as well. Young children and the elderly are at the greatest risk for heat-related illness, according to the CDC, so they need to take extra care to stay hydrated and cool. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York.